this is Michael J. King. Um, I haven't done one of these for ages, but this is a video blog on a product that you can actually buy in the shops. Um, this is um, a Merlin Seagull, and it's basically a stick dulcimer type instrument. Uh, again, with a stick dulcimer, which uses the diatonic fret scale of a mounting dulcimer. And this body shape is like a sithole or a medieval instrument. Um, also, mandolins in the 1920s and 30s, the regal mandolins had this shape um, as well. And what it does is it creates more space here so you can have a larger sound. This particular instrument is hollowed out from a piece of maple, uh, actually three pieces of maple. So there's a central piece going along here uh, and two wings put on. The whole instrument is routed out and then the soundboard is glued on and you can see the join here so it's flush. Um, this is uh, Canadian maple uh, and I think it's Canadian spruce as well. This is also available in mahogany. Um, the bridge is a fixed bridge, uh, it's actually glued on. Um, normally on these type of instruments we have a floating bridge so we can adjust the intonation a bit better. Uh, but this one is glued on. Um, it does mean the intonation, although it's fine on the top string, just slightly out on those two strings it's not a problem because you're not playing up here anyway so you're not really you won't you know if you're just playing down here you're not going to hear any difference it's angled but it's not angled enough um, I mean I could replace this part here and file this back but I think it needs to go back about another millimeter here or maybe two millimeters on this side um, the instrument plays well enough it has two strings to the melody string which gives <laughs> fretting is slightly unusual in the sense that on an Appalachian dulcimer traditionally you would have a six fret, number six fret uh, and this one has been taken out I think to make it play better in D tuning so it plays a, a single simple scale um, on my own instruments I would always have this extra fret in um, the six and the six and a half fret on my own instruments I have two more frets up here but you can play play above the fretted note here if you wish and people there are people who sell uh, extra frets that you can lay on that the self adhesive frets um, if you wish to make it a chromatic instrument overall this is a wonderful easy instrument to play um, great for beginners and musicians alike
would just recommend it if you wanted to buy commercial made stick dogs from her to get the McNally. Um, I think this is slightly better sounding than the McNally. It doesn't feel as good to play necessarily. I think you're missing some of the upper notes. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily compare the two identically. This is a, has a very different market, I think. The wider neck, the wider spacing. It's more for the educational market, but at the same time, this is a fantastically economical instrument for a musician as well. It's a, and a great plaything. And it sounds great.